My next guest is a local author, dance teacher, and newspaper columnist. Her newest collection of essays, in so many words, captures the nuances of life in the Pacific Northwest in the years coming out of the pandemic. Welcome to the show, Mary Lou Sinelli. It's so you great so to much. have you. So, in so many words, is a collection of essays that span these three important years of your life. To you, what does the word essay mean? Well, you know, the word essay, it can bring, my sister said, can, are you sure you can't call them something else? <laughs> right. Because that word does bring to mind something dull some, to some people. Something academic. Something too academic. Right. And, and, and you know, that used to be true. That used to be true mostly when um, you know, men, people, men, yeah. men were all of the publishers, all of the editors. And so today's essay is everything I love about writing and it's everything I love about reading yeah. because in in not too distant past, men did decide how stories were told, right. who got to tell them, and where they were told. But again, with that's all changed, and the new and the new essay voice is more of a memoir voice. And I think essays it's important. Some of the best books. There's a, every year actually they publish this this anthology of essays, and it's some of my favorite reading because Me it's too. digestible. It's short bits, right? How did you get into writing? Because you were published in your 20s for the first time. I was. Well, I'll tell you, it's a, it's, a, it's a story because I was a cocktail waitress out of college, which horrified my parents. Like, all that money they spent on college. Right. And well, I gotta I, make a dime. And I made great money. Yeah. Um, but this newscaster came into the bar, and he was famous, and he had power, and he had influence, and everybody knew him. Mm -hmm. And after he'd squeezed my butt for like the third time, oh wow, mm -hmm. I threw a drink in his face. Good for you. And I was promptly fired. Mm -hmm. And of being fired was the best luck of my life because it it was the birth of my writing yeah. career because it made me step back and say, how do I want to spend my time? What do I want to do for work? If I get used to making this kind of money doing this, something I don't like doing. That's so smart. So it, it, wow. it, it, so I started to write and with every word I wrote, I found my footing in the world. I started to find my footing in the world. What a great story because it truly is, we can get sucked in to that ease of the making the money and not following the passions, yes. which is hard. Um, the book opens in January of 2021. It was a period of time I think a lot of us would like to forget. 2021 yes. was kind of a rough time. Why did you want to document that time? Well, it's when the book, it's when I was ready to start a new book, because when you're in between books, you look for a new reason. I wanted to document how our city is, is saving itself again, you know, mm -hmm. because I live in Belltown. Yeah. And, and at when, when I was writing, yeah. Then, and I wanted to document uh, how hard the city was trying to bring itself back. Yeah. You know, and but I, you know, watching so much of my community um, disappear. Disappear. And we were. But then how it's been revitalized and how yeah. slowly and how much the mayor is trying. And I, you know what? I will say, I mean, the mayor has done a lot of great work. Yeah. Because it's, it's a not long been process. easy. Our, every mayor has a, has a lot of mess to handle. Um, so it is great to see that. I, what I love about this book is it really reads like um, like a journal, like a diary well, almost, because everything's in chronological order. It's chronological order, and my essays read like a memoir. Mm -hmm. I mean, the world's problems, our city's problems, along with my own problems, um, that's how my pages unfold. Yeah, yeah. It really is, um, it really is important. Um, I want to ask you, kind of taking a step out of this for a second, because I think Writing is really good for working through your own feelings, isn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, every writer. I mean, I love taking a subject that makes no sense to mm -hmm. me and then writing about it until it makes so much sense. Yeah. I think that's why all of us write. So that we're not really thinking about the reader so much while we're doing it. It's how do we feel about this subject yeah. and how, do, how can I make this make sense to me? And expressing it on the page. Yes. Speaking of writing, I love that you are a big believer in supporting independent bookstores. Oh, yes. In your opinion, why do you think we should be doing that? Well, this is not the city I know to say how much Amazon has has um, devastated the, mm -hmm. the independent local. literary mm -hmm. publishing, but it really has. And I just think we need to protect what we love. Mm -hmm. I love, you go into a bookstore, you get to talk about books with other yeah. readers. The people that are running the bookstore know what they carry. And you're, you're open, your world is open to books that 
that aren't being fed through an algorithm to Right, you. that's so true. And you it's know? our hand curated. And, yes. and, we, and even though the big, bigger companies like Amazon are trying to do a better job of helping the smaller yes. writers and publishers, it is important that we keep these local bookstores it alive. It amasses a greater masses of money into mm -hmm. fewer and fewer hands. But if you go into a, to an independent bookstore, mm -hmm. you're helping your community. Yeah, you really you, are. You really are. Oh, that's so great. I love this story. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your truth um, during you. that difficult time, and thank you for being here. Thank you. And of course, Mary Lou has lots of book events over the next several weeks. She's actually going to be at Elliott Bay Book Company this Friday, September 13th, so go check it out.